1994, I received a phone call from the commissioner of the South African Police Service that uh, I must come to his office because the Minister of Safety and Security want to see me. He told us that he was a member of the executive committee of the ANC during those times and that we must start a restart the investigation into all the cases against uh, Winnie Mandela. And we must start from Stompy Sapay right through and try to get evidence that uh, Winnie can be charged for murder. I think there was some political motivation behind him because the minister is the political head of the police and I thought that the ANC through Sittimo Fumare were going to request to reinvestigate Winnie Mandela. So we started this whole investigation. We went to Jerry Richardson in prison. He was serving a life sentence for the killing of Stompy Sapai. And there he told me that Stompy found out he was a registered informer of the security branch in Soweto. So he killed Stompy Sapai to cover his own tracks. And Winnie Mandela must never find out that he was a registered informer. <laughs>